One of the most annoying things that someone can do is jump on the bandwagon and that's what Christina Randall is doing. It seems as though that true crime is becoming oversaturated and that she may be losing viewers or she's just trying to expand more and she's doing the conspiracy theory thing and she is so fake like she's not into this she's talking about conspiracy theories that people that are actually real conspiracy theorists and I don't really like that word because it kind of puts us in a box of crazy people but you get what I'm saying and that we um we talk about different things and we pull it apart because things don't make sense or whatever and she's just talking about the dumbest conspiracy theories out there that don't make any goddamn sense like anyone with the same brain would know hey that doesn't make any sense that doesn't sound right and you're going to say that birds aren't fucking real like come on that's the one that you choose to do that lets me know right there that you don't believe in that you're just doing this for content like there's a lot of people in this space that's been at it for so many years and pulling different conspiracy theories out of the books reading cia documents and so on and so forth and you're just going off of some bullshit that you i'm telling you she is the type of person to just watch a video of someone else probably make a bs script and then talk about it this lady is not into this shit i think that the full the true crime space is becoming really oversaturated and full and she's trying to grasp at something different yo i'm not falling for this shit people that really are into it you can just tell like you can tell when someone's into someone you can tell when someone likes us be a subject and i'm telling you she don't you couldn't possibly to put this bs out this is fucking stupid and then I don't like these fake people because they're coming out of the woodwork. Another person that I feel like is a fake conspiracy theorist is the Y Files. He always does videos talking about stuff, but he'll try to debunk it. And because he has a big platform, even if he half assed debunk something, people will eat it up. Just like that time when there was a giant in Alberta, Canada, and that guy named Andy da Andrew Dawson died. And they said it was a suicide, but they were saying that it didn't make sense that he committed suicide. But um the y files were saying oh well that wasn't a giant that was a tower you did armchair detective work and trying to tell everyone that's a goddamn tower but people i know that lives there said there is no tower there that was a lie but anyway what i'm saying is people like her enter the conspiracy theory realm and they don't really contribute anything they just kind of are big channels they push all the smaller channels that really do deep dives down to the bottom and you better believe they're watching your shit you better believe they're watching our shit you better believe they're going to copy your content and then you're going to look like what the fuck because people like this just want to just make money they don't care about this uh this genre of entertainment or just like educating people i'm just sick of it i, I don't like when posers come into a space and like oh yeah new conspiracy theory shut the fuck up at the end of the day what we have to realize and this is my conclusion is that people are coming in droves to the conspiracy theory section of youtube because for some fucking reason it became popular and these people like this are there like these people like you ever watch those two weird kids on tiktok that talk about conspiracy theories and you can tell they didn't do any research and they're just like hey did you ever see the giant on the mountain the dude dot shut up one time i made a conspiracy theory video i'm telling you all i spent four fucking days doing research and like talking to people that lived in the area like real investigative work not armchair detective work but real investigative work and I remember I said, for example, that there was no CIA in Canada, right? I made my video. It got 100,000 views. I'll even put a picture here. These people that are the fake conspiracy theorists took that because no one was saying that before and ran with it. Like ran with it. I'm like, yo, I even told my husband, like, hey, they're, they're copying my shit. He's like, that's just part of the game. You got to put up with it. But anyway, let me get, not get off track what do y'all think about these fake people that are infiltrating the space ah i can't i don't like it <laughs> but yeah let me know what you think down below i love you guys so much for listening to my nonsense and my observations love you guys with all my heart bye y'all